Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we'll learn about the Python escape sequences. If you see in one of my previous video, I have created a Python escape characters or the Python escape sequences where I have covered till form field. I did not cover octal value or the hex value. So this video is basically uh, related to that. And then uh, in my next video, I will uh, at the end of this video, I'll show what my next video will be. It's already uh, like uh, I'm preparing them together. Okay, so let's start. So the so what is an octal value? Okay, a backslash uh, which is followed by three integers will result and in, uh, will result in an octal value. Well, a backslash followed by three integers will result in an octal value. So when we execute this a uh, backslash, okay. A backslash followed by any three characters suppose one two uh, backslash followed by three integers suppose one two three so we'll get s so when we execute this string it converts the octal value to the corresponding ascii character and slash one two three will be converted into the uh, capital letter s now similarly slash one one five will be converted into capital m the main advantage of using the octal number is is like it is it uses less digit it will be from 0 to 7 well the main advantage of using octal number is that it uses less digit basically it will be from 0 to 7 uh, and uh, it uses only three bits now the application well the, let's come to the application part uh, well the ch mode command in the linux or unix uses octal to assign file permission now without going much into the theoretical part let us execute one by one like if we execute slash one two four what will be the value it will be capital t similarly slash one two five will be a capital u and if we execute all these values together what it will be it will be different kind of uh, uh, like uh, in uh, different languages you have the all these letters right so it is defined here now if I want to print hello, okay, so the ASCII value, like uh, uh, if you give uh, uh, execute slash 110, it will be H. So if I want to say print hello, I will say print, I'll say slash 110, then slash hello, H E L L O, right? Slash 145, slash 154 is, it will come twice, slash 154, slash E, hello. 157 okay so it will be printed like this now similarly i want to print print hello aliens it will be print i'll just copy this now if i want to print hello i will simply say uh, like print this now if i if i want to say print hello aliens then i'll say all this number hello is already printed followed by i'll say value for spaces is 40 so slash 40 and then i will say aliens right so here what we will do we will simply print this value slash 101 slash 154 slash 151 slash 145 slash 156 slash 163 if we execute this it will come as hello aliens now after this if you want to try please print hello world okay using the characters present here so this is how the escape characters octal escape characters work now similarly the escape character for hexadecimal is also there so what it is actually so so if you see the hex in mathematics and computing the hexadecimal uh, numeral system is a positional numeral system that represent number using a radix space of 16 so unlike the common way of representing number using the 10 symbol like from 0 to 9 Hexadecimal uses 16 distinct symbol most often by uh, uh, most often the symbols from 0 to 9 and then followed by A to F. Like uh, if you see here, the hexadecimal symbol will be 0, 1, 2, 9. So 0 will be corresponding to 0, 1 will be correspond to 1. The moment it reaches 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it will be correspond to A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, if you want to example of how hexadecimal is formed, okay. So suppose you want to convert 154. So you will say 154 by 15 uh, by 16 comma 154 percentage 16. So first of all, it will give you the exact divisor and also the remainder. So if you see 9 is fine, the value of 9 will correspond to 9, but the value 10 will correspond to A. So this is A. Okay. Now this is 9A. And if you use the uh, function hex for 154, it is 09. Zero 09 uh, 
zero and x is for uh, x is for hexadecimal. So ultimately, after x only you need to see. Okay, nine a is my hexadecimal value. Similarly, you take some other values like hexadecimal values of one five four zero. Suppose, okay, so uh, we'll take something one five okay eight zero. Okay, one five eight zero is six. Uh, 62 C. So what we will do? 1580. Okay, let's take an example of 1580. So what we will do? 1580, 80, and percentage 16. So it will give you the remainder. Okay. Okay. So 98 and 12. So in the hexadecimal system, 12 will correspond to C. Okay. So the last digit will be C. Now again, what we will do? We will say 19, 98, uh, slash slash 16, comma. Comma ninety eight percentage of sixteen. So if you execute this, what you have six followed by two, and then we have already had this twelve, uh, right? So this will be six two C, and that is how hexadecimal character uh, numbers will be formed. Now I am not going more into conversion here because my next uh, session which is totally into conversion from uh, integers to decimal to Uh, binary to hexadecimal to octal and similarly vice versa all means all means all from every any uh, system to any system similarly what we have done in the, in, my, in in when i was uh, showing you the example of uh, octal how can we print hello using hexadecimal characters so it will be like print slash x 48 slash x 65 slash 65 then slash x Six C slash X six C slash X six F, and then this is how you will get the uh, like hello. Similarly, if you want to print hello aliens, you can print one after another, and then you can get the value. And also, if you want to print hello world, also you can. You need to get the uh, the value of. Uh, the uh, ascii uh, where you can get all the converted value and this will play a big role when i will be uh, cross verifying each and every one okay so if you can see here we have i have exp I explained about the octal system octal digit system which is from 0 to 7 and uh, then i have what we have done we, i have shown you the small example followed by Uh, hexadecimal digital system. Even I have shown you how to convert and how to print the value. Now, if you see here, I have generated this value. Suppose from one zero one till three two sixty six, or so any value index two sixty six. I have generated, and all these different kind of values I can see. Now, if you are interested to generate the value yourself. without i have not created i have not copied it from anywhere i have just generated using python code so that this things will be covered in my python for loop and while loop okay and my next instant uh, video will be on the conversion from into a uh, conversion from decimal to a decimal to binary then decimal to octal decimal to hexadecimal again from hexadecimal to decimal hexadecimal to octal hexadecimal to binary each and every all the possible conversion here i will show so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and my the, uh, the next video will come tomorrow itself okay so i'll see you in my next video thank you